New information tonight on a story that 22 News has been following since this morning. We found out that 15 people who were burned out of their house in Westfield were resettled refugees. 22 News reporter Tashani Whitlow is live in Westfield to tell you how the community is coming together to help these families rebuild. These families lost everything except for the clothes on their backs. When firefighters arrived, there was a lot of fire and heavy smoke. The Families Resettlement Agency told 22 News the families are all just happy to be alive. Three refugee families, two from Syria and one from Iraq, are forced to start over for a third time after an early morning fire destroyed their home at 67 Mechanic Street. The fire started around 5.15 this morning in their multi-family home. According to Mohammed Najib, a resettlement manager with Acentria Care Alliance, the agency resettled the families to Westfield in 2014 and 2015. Najib said the families lost all their belongings in the fire, including their vehicle. It's very frustrating for them because simply they are, they were, they just became self-sufficient. It's sad to see the mothers and the children crying, saying that we'll have to start all over again. Of the 15 people left homeless, nine are children. The nine kids, including three infants, were all home at the time of the fire. No one was hurt, but all three families were taken to the hospital as a precaution. They're all expected to be okay. Najib told 22 News two of those families are staying in a nearby motel, and a third family is staying with relatives tonight. Now, I was told by that resettlement agency that they're already looking for permanent housing for all three families. Live in Westfield, Tashani Whitlow, 22 News.